I got pregnant shooting this film. Hollywood movie magic never fails to impress, especially when it comes to the way they hide baby bumps. Hollywood has come up with all kinds of tricks to cover up the bumps. Which superhero's baby bump had a cape of its own? Who was it that lied to get out of wearing a corset while pregnant? We've got all the Hollywood secrets. Really? You don't think that's a little inappropriate? What? Hathaway managed to keep her pregnancy a secret since she was only in her first trimester for much of the filming. Once she started her second trimester, she shared it with a few people, but since her costumes were still fitting her well, she was able to get away with not telling everyone. A reason, and, and I couldn't say because I'm five weeks pregnant. She was nearly caught when the costume designer wanted to put her in a corset, but she made the excuse that she didn't want to feel restricted while tap dancing to get out of it. By the end of filming, she was 16 weeks pregnant, and the costume designer managed to figure it out. Wonder Woman had a far from wonderful time on set while filming pregnant. I can stand and lay down, so when I'm standing, I'm with a baby, and I'm, you know, you, you just work around it. Gal Gadot found herself very sick, often vomiting in corners and consistently dealing with intense migraines. Migraines! <laughs> I vomited everywhere. I was late to set. Being five months pregnant didn't stop her from doing reshoots for the movie. Her baby bump got a cape of its own when shooting in the armor. A green cloth that could be CGI'd in editing. Me and Maya, we came to work together. Mandy Moore's pregnancy unfortunately didn't line up with any of the scenes in which she had to be pregnant in, so they resorted to prosthetics. When she was actually pregnant, laundry baskets, unfitted clothing, and large bags came to the rescue to cover her bump. When Felicity Jones became pregnant, she wasn't sure if she'd still be part of the Midnight Sky. But the director George Clooney wanted her to be in the film, so he wrote her pregnancy into the script. What are we gonna name her? Stunt sequences were altered to make sure that she could actually do them safely. Jones said that being pregnant while filming was actually a blessing, as it strengthened her relationship with her character, Sully. You're calling me going, hey, I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh, that's, that's so great. Similarly to Felicity Jones, the initial plan was to hide the pregnancy until the decision was made to write it into the show. Morgan didn't have the easiest times with her pregnancy on Riverdale because it made her exhausted, but she still managed to dance on stage with snakes. Scarlett Johansson had a team of stunt doubles on her side to help when the actress wasn't able to shoot a particular scene. Camera angles, close-ups, and costumes were all contributors to hiding the superhero's bump as well. Johansson spoke afterwards about how lucky she felt to have such a supportive cast and crew around her, always checking in and making sure she was comfortable on set that has been very liberating just to kind of make that discovery. Courtney Cox's real-life pregnancy was a pretty surprising gift. After suffering multiple miscarriages over many years, the chances of her having a baby weren't too high. It was even written into the script that Monica and Chandler wouldn't have kids. So when she did end up becoming pregnant, the show didn't end up adding a plot twist for her character. By the end of the series, her bump was pretty obvious since she was four months pregnant, and the production actually didn't do anything to cover it up. The, you know, taking us through the journey of their pregnancy. Shay Mitchell was sneaky with her pregnancy and actually kept it a secret from the production. Since her character's wardrobe was naturally flowy and baggy, she wasn't too worried about her bump showing. What gave her pregnancy away was that she wasn't drinking coffee on set. A staple for any film person. That could be the baby brain, but yeah, no, it's all really amazing. I'm so excited for people to see this show. Sarah Power also hid her pregnancy from the whole cast and crew, which wasn't too difficult since it's hard to notice watching the series now that she was with child. Fans only discovered her pregnancy when she posted a photo online on Mother's Day. It's hard to let go. Winslet didn't hold back when she was pregnant on set for Divergent. The actress really wanted to do a lot of her own stunts and managed to do some of the smaller and safer ones on her own. In terms of covering the baby bump, an iPad or large folder being held in front of her stomach was the simple solution to hiding her pregnancy. So we actually had to keep adapting the costumes as we went. Evangeline Lilly's baby bump made fitting into her wasp suit very tricky since she'd grown so much it actually didn't fit her at all. As she's a very private person, her pregnancy only became known at the premiere of the film when she was seven months pregnant. From pre-pregnancy to post-baby was night and day. The Sweeney Todd production team came up with a plan and decided to shoot the film out of sequence to help with hiding Bonham Carter's pregnancy. When her bump was starting to show, a corset and dark costumes helped to cover things up. 
Unfortunately, she didn't have the best experience and was super nauseous on set for most of the filming process. Even though she was playing the baker's wife and could get away with appearing a bit bigger on screen, being seven months pregnant by the end of things made it a bit trickier. By the end, adjustments were being made to her costumes every single week, and the film resorted to having James Corden, who played her husband, standing in front of her in attempts to hide the bump. That's, that's kind of a good tactic, I think. From season two, episode nine onwards of The Handmaid's Tale, Yvonne Strahovski was on set with a baby on the way. While she experienced a lot of nausea, as many pregnant women do, she also suffered a very odd symptom, excess saliva. So much so that she wound up carrying around a spittoon on set. She actually managed to hide it from the cast and crew pretty well, who thought she was just sick with really odd symptoms. We, we kind of have a secret um, hope, our hope and dream. The production prioritized filming many of Cruz's scenes while she wasn't showing her bump too much. Naturally, she couldn't manage all the stunts herself as they just weren't safe for her, so her stunt double and sister, Monica Cruz, stepped in for the stunts. Blake Lively wore a bikini for the majority of the film The Shallows, so it was pretty surprising that we couldn't tell she was pregnant. Even though the film is pretty stunt-heavy, a double was never hired. Instead, some stunts were toned down so they were safe enough for Lively to perform. I, I'm, I'm one of five kids, my husband's one of four, so… Jolie actually didn't know she was pregnant with twins while she was filming The Changeling, only finding out near the end of filming. She believes the emotions she had from being pregnant, even unknowingly, intensified her performance in the movie. The TV show Scandal didn't go too high-tech when it came to hiding Kerry Washington's pregnancy. Furniture and camera angles were the main tools used to cover it up. Behind the scenes, Washington didn't have the easiest time since she was undergoing so many emotional and physical changes. However, her cast and crew were all really supportive and took great care of her on set. And I think, yeah, for me, definitely, these two pregnancies have been really different. Lane's experience filming Utopia taught her a new skill, how to switch between being at work and being an expecting mother. While it was a challenge, it was one that she was grateful to learn. When it came to her stunts, her double was the solution. Being on a long-running series like Grey's definitely makes hiding pregnancies trickier. Oh, I have a consult. What? I have a consult. During season six of the show, cribs and camera angles did the trick to cover the bump. When it came time for her maternity leave, a storyline involving her donating part of her liver was written in so she could take the time off she needed to care for her newborn. The Greys team is pretty well-versed when it comes to working around pregnancies, since there have actually been 25 babies born within the cast over the duration of the whole series. And I said, I don't know if the fans can handle that. It's pretty amazing to see all the creative ways pregnancies are hidden and how supportive the teams are. Who knew furniture would be so commonly used with all of the advanced technologies available?